I had the beautiful chance to go to visit Imam Hussein in 2012, 2013, coming into the year. Um, one of the things that stood out about my trip to Imam Hussein or my zawar, you know, my ziyar to Imam Hussein was the sheer, the sheer uh, act of selflessness that they, it was, everything was just anything that you wanted on the walk. I had the beautiful opportunity and the privilege to walk from Imam Ali Shrine in Najaf to Karbala, to the city of Karbala. And on our way, anything that you needed was provided for you. If you needed slippers because your feet were hurting, they were provided for you. Um, if you needed someone to massage your feet because your feet were starting to hurt, they would do that for you. Uh, food, it was millions and millions of people. Reportedly, almost 22 million people that year. And for some reason, or some blessing out of the sky, they never ran out of food. And they hosted 22 million people who majority of them walked from Najaf to Karbala. Also, I had the beautiful chance and opportunity to work in one of the stations that's called Mokib, inside maybe about three blocks away from the shrine of Imam Hussein It was called Mokib 110 Abdullah Radi from Kuwait. I was there, I was able to serve the zawar, the food. I had the opportunity to pray with the people who worked at the Mokib. Um, we were on the roof, we would discuss Islam on the roof with the brothers from Kuwait. Every morning I would get up and it was routine that I would go to the shrine and I would go to the Mokib to work. After the work was over, I would go back to the shrine of Abu Fadl Abbas or Imam Hussein alayhi salam. This was a routine for about maybe 12 to 13 days while I was there. This opportunity that I had was like once in a lifetime. So many people being kind and merciful to each other. It just showed a true example of what can happen if people stick together to represent peace. Because it's Islam and Imam Hussein al-Islam is a peaceful message. Also, for me, being able to visit Imam Ali salam in the shrine was absolutely beautiful because I read about this personality all my life. And once I, I, I was able to get to the shrine and get in there, I, w I didn't have the words, you know. I was stuck, I didn't know what to say. So I thought about my teachers and what they had taught me to say. And I started to thank him. And I started to think how he supported Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. How he was the best example of someone who never did anything that was against what the Prophet ordered. This was one of my experiences while I was there. It was such a feeling of peace that came over me and tranquility while I was there. I didn't have any worries. I felt like I was absolutely in heaven. We walked with a very beautiful group from Washington, D.C. That I, that I traveled with from Washington to Iraq. And it was just such a peaceful experience. I really, truly recommend anyone who's looking for peace in their life to go see Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So many things I asked for while I was under the dome of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. They have already happened in my life. Some of the things were just so overwhelming that I seen it happen and I knew that it was one of my hajats that I asked for from the Imam. This is something that I could talk hours and hours about. I don't want to take too much of your time today. But the message of Imam Hussein and this family, the Ahl al-Bayt it is truly beautiful. By all means, delve and dive into the personalities of the Ahl al-Bayt and Imam Hussein salam in particular because his message can absolutely just change your life and save you and give you the happiness that you are looking for. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.